Let's get to the damage that's being done uh, to your industry and obviously the knock-on effects to tourism and hospitality mm. and what can be done about it. Uh, the, what, what do you want to happen? I think, like, OK, if you, if you look at Ryanair, we have about 8% of all of our traffic is, is in and out of Ireland. So most of our traffic is elsewhere. Over the last uh, two months, we've been making investment decisions in, we've done a 10-year deal in Stansted, we've opened a base in Paris, we've opened a base in Zadar, Zagreb, we've opened, uh, I was on with the president of, of Sicily the other day, who's opening, who's welcoming us with open arms to transform that. And Sicily has a population larger than Ireland, right? Ireland is the last on our list at the moment for two reasons, and not just Ryanair, Aer Lingus, DAA, everyone else. One, not necessarily a date of when we're getting out of this, but what are the metrics to get us out of this in terms of infection rates, etc. all that, just give us those. And then the second thing is, put some incentives into an island nation that relies on, 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 on travel in and out of here. And if you look at foreign direct investment in here, one of the reasons that the Googles and the Facebooks uh, come here is not just for the tax reasons, because... They actually attract people from all over Europe mm. to come and work here. And they get here on Ryanair for nine ninety nine, And that's no longer there at the moment. And no plan, no way out of this. We are going to take 50 years of being ahead of aviation, to, like a little small nation in aviation leasing, low fares airlines, transatlantic. We are really good at aviation in this country. And this government is flushing it down the toilet at the moment. Um, how many planes have you actually pulled out of Ireland? Well, it's not a question of, it's a question of how many you're going to put back in. I mean, we're operating at the moment on, you know, five, uh, seven, eight percent schedules, and we're carrying about 70 percent people on those at the moment. But like people are flying within Italy, within Spain, uh, there's flights operating throughout Europe, not at the same scale, but all of people want to know is, what are the metrics to get us back? Right. Okay. Um, and, and, and you need a plan. You have to say to people in aviation, we've got to take airplanes, uh, maintain them. They were going to put them in certain places, get the pilots back in check. You know, this isn't like opening uh, non-essential retail where you can just pull up the shutters and off you go again. Now, that's no disrespect to those people. They've got logistics problems as well, but it's more complicated in, 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 uh, in aviation. And you, and you see the comments today from the hotels. You know, let's just open the hotels. They've got to go out, find the staff, re-engage, okay. get supplies. Nothing Eddie, is told through. Very quickly, I've got about 30 seconds left. What's your message to the Taoiseach? The Taoiseach is, will he get out and run the place? Give people, um, uh, get out and tell people we need incentives to get uh, airlines back into Ireland if it's, you know, throughout this summer and also give us a plan on metrics. Bring in things like antigen testing. Do something different, but do something. Don't just sit on your hands.